What's the deal, my people? You know what it is, Don Tony Teflon, and I'm back at you another one, and this one is now. I'm getting ready to watch the NBA draft, hoping that the Knicks can do something big. Shout out to my Knicks, and you know I'm a I'm a, I'm a struggling Knicks fan. <laughs> you know, it's always a struggle when you're a Knicks fan, but I'm from New York. I'm always repping my team. But I go and I watch, and I watch Wendy Williams. I like Wendy Williams. You know. I, I know Wendy Williams not personally, but I remember back in the days when she first started in New York doing all her hip hop stuff. And, you know, I understand. I'll break down how Wendy Williams really started and how she got blackballed and all that stuff. In one of these videos, I got people that are on the inside track and that and can really back it all up. You know what I mean? And say stuff that other people won't say. I'm going to bring them on and I'm going to do an interview with them. We're going to talk about all that. But, God damn it. Wendy has been in a mood lately, and the latest victim of the, the Wendy Williams train is goddamn Damon Dash. I mean, listen, if you want to say somebody got dragged on national TV, I mean, Wendy's been doing it for years. And just recently, she's been doing it more than, than she used to do. You know, it's been a lot. And, and before, she would do a lot, a lot of shade. You know, Wendy put the shade out there. And you know that it would have been, now it's like it's not even shade no more. She's just putting you straight on blast, you know. And that is exactly what she did to your boy Dame Dash. She put Dame Dash on blast. You know, this is a guy who just had a baby. He's over here, you know, celebrating the birth of his child. And she just went in on this cat. You know what I mean? You would think that, you know. Hey, Wendy, you take it easy. The guy just had a baby with his with his wife and everything else. She's having, you know, it is what it is. But I'm saying she was like, nope, I ain't having none of that. And she just told it. Maybe you want to say she told it as she is, or she told it as she felt it. One way or the other, she spilled that tape on this cat. So let's listen to Wendy Williams in her own voice, because I don't want to act like, you know what I mean? Like I'm putting words in Shorty's mouth. Not at all. You know what I mean? And listen. She got something against Dame Dash like back in the day. I ain't going to hold you because, like I said, she was in the, the, the rap game back then when Dame was blowing up and everything else. But she definitely put it on Dave. So let's listen to that, and then I'm going to give you my take after that. No. No. First Why of all, not? I don't okay. want to be compared to another woman. Yeah. Rest in peace. Second of all, that was an illegal relationship. He might have been younger, but he was still older than Aaliyah. Yeah. You not know? quite R. Kelly, though. Oh, really? Um, yeah. I think the Dame is bitter now because Jay-Z is a fully... Megastar. Megastar brand, married to Beyonce. Aaliyah is gone and... The king of hip-hop. And these girls that you're with, including Rachel Roy, doesn't even compare to being married to Beyonce. <laughs> As I told you, Wendy Williams did not hold back whatsoever, All right? She definitely put it on your boy, Dave Dash. Let's break it down. Now, the whole Aaliyah situation she's talking about, I understand what Willie Williams is saying. If this guy's coming out saying, yo, this is the happiest I've been since I've been with Aaliyah. Yes, do you want to be com compared to another girl? Of course, I don't not. I don't think other women or any other woman wants to be compared to another girl. But to try to say some R. Kelly situation was going down with Damon Dash and Aaliyah. No, I, no, no. And, you know, obviously, you talk, I think she's talking about a different R. Kelly situation. But, you know, R. Kelly and Aaliyah were a thing, too, back in the day. But then you look at it, when Aaliyah was dating Dame Dash, she was 21 years old. Dame Dash was 29 years old when he was dating Aaliyah. Eight years different. Eight years different to me, 21, 29. That is not an R. Kelly situation. If that was the case, then... A lot of dudes out here may be called R. Kelly with a soul say done. And a lot of women, too. Eight years is not that not big of a difference at all. I don't see anything wrong with 29, 21. Would I want my 21-year-old, would I have 21-year-old dating 29-year-old? Probably not. But I would say if they were a little bit older, eight years difference to me wouldn't, wouldn't be that bad. Next, she started going in and talking about Dame Dash. Comparing him to Jay Z, saying, "Yo, he made Jay Z, and he is." She was basically saying that Dame Dash is what James, what 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 Jay Z is now is something that Dame Dash will always want to be, and that his wife, that any wife he had, his wife don't compare to Beyonce, and Jay Z was just the talent. Dame Dash was the businessman, but now Jay Z is the mogul, and Dame Dash is over here hustling and stuff, trying to get to that stuff. Listen. It's long documented exactly what happened with Rockefeller 
and how Jay Z dissed Dame Dash. Dame Dash has come out in public and said it many a time. And she's exactly right. And Dame Dash put it out there. It was like, yo, we was a business. And when we were a business, basically, we was trying to say with him and Jay-Z was that, you know, someone had to be the dick. Somebody had to, you know, make people not like them in order for them to succeed. And Dame Dash was willing to play that role for Jay-Z. And then when it came, in the end, it came back to bite him because he was such a dick. People didn't want to mess with him no more. And Jay-Z stepped off and it was like, yo, I had no control of that. You know what I mean? That was Dame Dash. They didn't have nothing to do with me. But when, but Jay-Z was down with it the whole time. And that's how Jay-Z got bagged up. She did, you know, that's how Dame Dash got bagged up and messed up on the thing. Now, she did say that she felt that Dame Dash has more money than $10,000 in his bank account. Listen. Dame Dash got more than 10 G's in his bank account. He may owe a lot of child support, and he may, I'm sure he's paying that back because he did get arrested for that and everything else. But come on, this is Dame Dash. You don't think that guy got more than $10,000 in his bank account right now? I know people out here working in McDonald's that got $10,000 in that bank account. For real. If you think someone in McDonald's ain't got $10,000 in their bank account, then Dame Dash ain't got $10,000 in his bank account. There's something wrong. <laughs> you know, something's wrong. And I got to believe that man is not struggling. He's not starving. Ain't nothing wrong with that cat in, in that way at all. But Wendy Williams is not like Dame Dash. She at the end she says she does and she says she's good for hot topics. I'm sure he is good for hot topics, but you know, it's just something going on behind the scenes with Wendy Williams and Dame Dash. And it could be relating to back when she was doing her DJ, you know, gig at uh, 97 and all that, and Dame Dash and them could have been dissing her and everything. But in all Honestly, Wendy Williams has been harsh lately, boy. She has been harsh on a lot of people. And what I think the Don Tony Teflon's take is that Wendy Williams needs a good stroking. <laughs> That's what I would say. She needs a good poking. You know what I mean? I think that she's still, you know, she's still better about exactly what happened to her in her life. And I think somebody's got to step up to the plate and hold that woman down and get her, get, you know, she's a, she needs that Stella get her groove back love. You know what I mean? She needs that sexual healing. Someone got to do it. I mean, are y'all volunteering to dive and do it? You saying Tony Teflon take one for the team? If you don't like that, is that what you say? <laughs> I don't think it would be considered to take one for the team. I don't think we'll, we'll, there's nothing wrong with Wendy Williams. You know what I mean? But I think that she does need to get her groove back. Some dude got to step up to the plate and get that done because she's going to be feisty like this until that gets done. Someone got to hit that, baby. You know what I mean? If you do hit it, let me know. And let me know in the comment section exactly how you feel about Wendy Williams. Do you think that she's been a little extra spicy lately? Is it Don bugging? Or do you think she was right on point with her comments about Dame Dash? Make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. And I'll be going back to doing a couple of reviews on a couple of shows, too. I don't think I'm giving that up. I'm just doing things in between shows. You know what I mean? So a new show has come out that I'm going to be reviewing. So we going to be getting on that. So until next time, you know who it is. Peace and stay sexy.